Hello children, Sai Ram, hope you all are doing well, okay, so welcome back to social studies class, today it's time for us to begin a new chapter, okay, but before that, let us see few images which are very very interesting, okay, so few images I'll be showing you all. Based on those images, I will be asking you a few questions. Okay? So, are you all ready? Shall we begin? Okay. So, here we have first image. Have you all seen this image before? Yes. So, what is this image telling us, children? Very good. This image is of climatic zone. Correct. Okay. So, how many zones are mentioned here children? Yes. There are three zones mentioned. That is torrid zone, temperate zone and frigid zone. Correct. Okay. Very good. Fine. So, this highlighted zone, can you all tell me which zone is it children? Yes, tell me again. Which zone is it? Yes, absolutely correct. It is torrid zone. Correct? Okay. Now, just recall and tell me that from this zone, children, which country did we study? Are you all getting me? My question is, from this zone, about which country did we study in detail? Yes, tell me. Yes, absolutely correct. We studied about chapter 5 that is DRC. That is Democratic Republic of Congo, the land of dense forest isn't it which lies in torrid zone correct fine now here highlighted portion is which zone children yes it is frigid zone correct it is also called as polar zone. Fine. So, just recall and tell me from this zone about which country did we study? Yes, just recall. Okay. So, in chapter 6, we studied about Greenland, isn't it? Okay. So, Greenland lies in frigid zone. Correct? Okay. You people are very smart. Okay. So, we finished with DRC which lies in torrid zone and Greenland that lies in frigid zone. So, now which zone is left children that we didn't study? Yes. Very good. Temperate zone. Correct? Which zone is left? Temperate zone. So today in chapter 8 that is grasslands of the temperate zone we are going to study in detail. Okay. So what is the name of our chapter? Read aloud. Grasslands of the temperate zone. This is part 1. Okay. So first of all let us see the topics that we are going to study. Grassland, temperate zone, location, vegetation and climate, agriculture and rearing cattle of temperate zone. In our today's class, we will focus on this three 
topics that is grassland temperate zone and location okay so the name of our chapter is grasslands of the temperate zone so first of all we need to understand that what is a grassland okay on the screen we have the meaning of grasslands let's read grasslands are the vast stretches of land covered with tall grasses and a few scattered trees so if you see a, a grassland there are hardly few trees here and there and rest of the land is all covered with tall grasses children here is an image of grassland and the name over here is written as savanna do you remember children this name savanna this we studied in chapter 5 that is drc okay so this is a kind of grassland that we had already studied in drc okay which lies in central africa okay now one fifth of the earth's land surface is covered with grasslands how much children yes one fifth okay one fifth of the earth's land surface is covered with grasslands and this is generally seen in temperate zone okay fine in which zone children yes it is generally seen in the temperate zone so grasslands are commonly seen in temperate zone now children let us see the location of temperate zone you are already aware of it isn't it okay temperate zone lies between the tropic of cancer and the arctic circle in the northern hemisphere and the tropic of capricorn and the antarctic circle in the southern hemisphere are called as temperate zones let us understand in a better way with the help of the image so here is the image here we have northern hemisphere and this is temperate zone okay temperate zone lies between tropic of cancer and arctic circle in the northern hemisphere whereas in southern hemisphere it lies over here between tropic of capricorn and antarctic circle okay children i hope it is clear to you now the temperate zone lies between the latitudes now you all know that latitudes are just the imaginary lines okay so the temperate zone lies between the latitudes 23 and a half degree north and 66 and a half degree north in the northern hemisphere let's see in the image yes so here is 23 and a half degree north and 66 and a half degree north so between these two latitudes lies the temperate zone similarly in the southern hemisphere that is 23 and a half degree south and 66 and a half degree south okay between these two latitudes here lies the temperate zone okay so the temperate zone lies between latitudes 23 and a half degree north and 66 and a half degree north in the northern hemisphere 
and between latitudes 23 and a half degree south and 66 and half degree south in the southern hemisphere clear that means the grasslands are generally seen between these latitudes that is in northern hemisphere over here and in southern hemisphere over here okay now the grasslands are known by different names in different parts of the world let us see their names that is prairies in north america pampas in south america steppes in russia well in south africa downs in australia and savannas in central africa let us understand in a better way by looking at the map so here is prairies in north america pampas in south america steppes in russia well in south africa downs or downlands in australia and even we have savannas in central africa that we had already studied. okay so here we come to an end of this session remaining part of the lesson we will continue in the coming sessions okay until then do take care of yourself goodbye